Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to link our XSL file with our existing XML file. So, in previous tutorial, we have created this XSL transformation, which is the XSL file, in which we have just displayed one table in which we are just displaying heading, title and artist. We haven't completed this XSL document, but we are now ready to link this XSL document with our XML document. We have created XML document in second tutorial. So, this is the our XML document which stores the information of various CD catalog. Now, to link the XSL document which is our cat.xsl with this cat.xml file after the XML version, we have to write XML hyphen style sheet. After writing XML style sheet, write type is equal to text XSL. Here you have to compulsory write text slash because you know when we are giving reference of CSS to HTML document, we have to write text slash CSS. Because we are specifying CSS, then we are giving type is equal to CSS. Here we are specifying style sheet for XML and it is the XSL. So we are giving text slash XSL. And then href, which is the h reference, and here specify the path XSL document, which is cat dot xsl and you have to write question mark before the xml style sheet and close the xsl style sheet save this document now without this xml style sheet reference you cannot give transformation in html file of xsl transformation so when you want to retrieve data from the XML in stylesheet format, you must have to link XSL stylesheet to your XML document. Now let's open the XML document and see what is the stylesheet effect. You can see in the output, one heading is displayed which we have written my CD collection and you cannot see data. You can just see title and artist because in XSL transformation, we haven't retrieved the data from the XML document. So you can see only the two TD of HTML, which doesn't show any data. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to retrieve data from the XML and transform into HTML. So this is about how to link our XSL document with XML document. Thank you. 